Marie, Howard Hamlin here. Where are you? Where are you, Marie? Everybody's waiting for you. Well, out on the softball field. Chuck, Jimmy, and Kim. No, 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 I don't want to hear your excuses. Look, Marie, when I hired you as an intern at HHM last week, I told you two things. One, check your email. And two, we play company softball once a week. It's a bonding experience. And today's the day, and I expect you to be out there. What do you mean you're not coming? Hey, guys, Marie doesn't want to come. Oh, why is that? Hey, look, Marie, I'm going to, I'm going to spell it out to you here. I understand. I understand. You're a grandma. You're a ma. You get a lot of responsibilities. And maybe you don't want to be overworked and underpaid as an intern at HHM. Maybe you don't want to go to doc review. But I tell you what, Marie, if you don't suit up and get out there and play softball with us, I'm going to have to rethink our arrangement. You know the arrangement I'm talking about. Yeah, look, I'll let you work under the banner of HHM while you do your accounting for that mini golf thing in Atlantic City. I mean, I mean come on, really, honestly? Mini golf in Atlantic City. This is the best you guys could come up with. A couple of loaded good sons you got there. But I mean, whatever it is, of course, it's legitimate. Look, as long as you pay that retainer and it is there every week, I'm looking sideways. So you're an intern. We're underpaying you and you get the basement room. It's not much ventilation, I know, but, uh, you know, no one's going to bother you down there while you um, uh, account for all the money that's coming in out of that mini golf thing in Atlantic City. Again, ridiculous. Like if I was writing a movie and I said, oh, they're laundering money through a mini golf thing in Atlantic City, they would throw me out of the room. They would throw me out of the room. But, you know, real life is, is more interesting than actual, actual, uh, oh my gosh, Marie. You're not going to play softball for real? I mean, I sent you the Hamlin to go blue glasses, right? They're cool. They're intimidating. They shoot lasers out of their eyes. I even sent you the Hamlin to go blue, blue hoodie. It's got SPF 50 all over it, so it will protect your precious skin. Just put it on and, and come on out. Guys, she says there's no way she's going to come. What's that? Oh, Kim, well, Kim, Kim sent you your love anyways. She said you're a great grandmother. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, how, do you, how do you know that? Oh, yeah. Well, she said you just really are. Great. And, and, and Jimmy, he's two thumbs up. He likes anybody who knows how to. He's not, do not say cook the books. He didn't say cook the books. He didn't say that because that would be, you know... That would be implying something. And since I'm a lawyer, I'd have to like do something about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and Chuck, Chuck gives you the, the masalam, you know, which is really great. Um, you know what? I guess Howard Hamlin right here with his cold blue heart, you know, wishes you uh, a, a really good time um, accounting for that mini golf in Atlantic City. You know, even, even if Leo and Evan have to, you know, visit you in Leavenworth at some point. <laughs> Don't worry. That's not going to happen. They're never going to visit you in prison. Oh, hey, Marie, hi, it's Patrick Fabian. Uh, I play Howard Hamlin on Better Call Saul. You can tell because I have a hat that says so. Um, and that whole like, hey, I've hired you and where are you going and what's happening? I was just uh, making that up. How about that? It was acting for you. Did you like that? Huh? Was it, the, was it the best thing you ever saw, Marie? Yeah, no. No, no, it wasn't. I, I get it. I don't think so either. Well, I'm not a writer. I'm an actor. But I think you know that because I think you're a fan of Better Call Saul. Which, by the way, one, I want to congratulate you on that new business, wow, that you are helping your sons at. What, they, they, never, they didn't pay attention in school? They don't know how to do accounting? My, oh, my. Talk about never cutting the apron strings, right? You got to take care of them, and then you got to take care of your grandkids. It never ends, does it? No. You can tell them I said that. Um, but here's the thing. I want to thank you very much for making my dreams come true because I don't know if you know how television works, but if they make TV and people watch it, they'll make more of it. But if they make TV and nobody watches it, they get rid of it. That's been a lot of my career. So the way I look at it, Marie, you and me, and Nick and Mike, I assume Leo and Evan are watching the show. So the, the four of us, we've made six seasons of Better Call Saul. Amazing, right? Fun to watch, yeah? Yeah, fun to be in. And now we're sad that it's over, right? Are you sad? Sure, me too. Although all things being equal, Marie, I'd say I'm probably a little more sad than you, right? Yeah, but we're not here to be sad. We're here to be happy because, you know, you are, let's just say it, you're cooking the books, right? Cooking the books in Atlantic City. That does sound like a song, although I don't really have a song for you about the cooking the books because you're not cooking the books. If only your boys had paid attention in school. got you. They better thank their lucky stars they got you every day. And I bet
bet they do. I bet you they love you very much and Leo and Evan love you very much. And, uh, you know, my only advice to you is if you need to sue these guys when that mini golf takes off, because honestly, mini golf in Atlantic City sounds like an excellent idea. Um, if they don't pay you enough, you call me and we'll sue their butts off. Hey, Marie, thanks for making my dreams come true. You hang in there and you have terrible bosses, but you already knew that. But you know what? You can always just go and erase everything on the computer and then see what they'll do. Anyways, I'm sending you good vibes and love all the way from California, all the way to the boardwalk in Atlantic City. And I only have one more word to say to you. Can you guess what it is? Say it with me. Come on, ready? One, two, three. You're going to kick yourself. Namaste. Yes, that's exactly right.